Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name's Ian, and I'm here with Joseph, my co-host, over that way. And uh, we are on tonight talking about the ARRL's Logbook of the World. Or lack thereof. Yeah, lack thereof. We are on day 14 of the outage. Day 14. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe it's been that long. Uh, but the Logbook of the World went down inexplicably uh, right near midnight one night. Uh, and here it is, 14 days later, and it is still down. Uh, the ARRL has issued only three announcements as to what's going on, uh, and they're pretty vague. Uh, they really don't say a whole lot about what's going on. Uh, they say that they're, they're, they're dealing with a major incident. Uh, they have informed us that the information that was in the logbook of the world is still there, and it's safe. We don't know anything beyond that as far as the data goes. Uh, as far as the systems, it seems that their system was lo locally hosted there and that it has gone down, and that's about all we have. No one that's has been told us. That's all they've told us. No one has confirmed it's a hack yet, but you have to start believing that there's got to be something nefarious going on here. Joseph, I you think so. I think they're hiding something. The words that they've used to tell us what's going on sound a lot like they're just really trying to avoid giving any kind of impression of what's really happening. They say the data is safe. My personal opinion is that they suffered a major data breach and probably loss of data, meaning someone got into their servers and actually took everything and erased it off of their system. I think they may have a backup, which is why they may be saying, oh, it's all safe, we still have it. but. If they had a backup, why hasn't it been restored yet? The other question is, what happened with their internet service provider? Their telephones seem to be down right now. I've seen reports of people saying they can't even get AWRL to answer, answer the phone. I think something pretty major happened, and I think they suffered a major, major data loss. And they're just going to have a hard time recovering from it, if they can recover at all. So that remains to be seen, but that's how I see it. Yeah, and there's they originally said it was Logbook of the World and the Learning Center was all that was affected. But we've also, I've read posts on two different blogs of people who have lost uh, their uh, ARRL website. Uh, their um, email that passes through ARRL is not passing through. And it's, See, that's it's dead end. of a much wider problem. Right. And so yeah. we can't confirm that. Uh, I, neither one of us have an ARRL website or so, uh, email address, so email. I can't confirm it. But uh, but that could be an issue as well. And uh, it, it seems like there's something more going on here. Most of the time, even in a data breach where your data has been stolen, we generally always have a resolution within seven days. Um, whether you either just move on, you go ahead and reboot the server, and just tell people, hey, sorry guys, you gotta upload your log books again, which is probably not that big a deal. Um, but uh, they would have to, at some point, they would have to get it going again and put the data back on there and turn it back on. It's been 14 days, why have they not done this? And so this we- This is the real mystery. That I've never heard of an outage for any service, whether it be big or small, being offline for 14 days straight. Is it a lack of knowledge of how to fix the problem? Is it that the problem's so big it can't be fixed? Or is it that they just either don't care? They haven't been awfully clear with us. I personally... Maybe they're, already, maybe they're going through a lot already and they can't to devote time to fixing this. I think that might be part of it. If I were to just take a wild guess, and this is all it would be, and I admit this, and I'm going to get comments and say, you're just guessing. If I, if I were to take a wild guess, I would have to lean towards, at this point, some kind of, of attack, some kind of breach, uh, where there, there's someone on the other end of this that has created a damage uh, either in the access to the data or a, a, a damage to the data itself, or the data has been uploaded and erased, however. But there's something catastrophic has gone on here, and for them to just go on and on and on for two weeks they've only issued three vague notices so i guess the bottom line is we're just going to have to wait and see uh they don't feel encumbered to tell us anything and that kind of sucks 
I, I'm not a member, but I've spoke to three or four people who are members, and they're not happy right now. You know, when you pay $59 to be a member of a club of people, you would think that you would have access to what's going on within that club when there's a big emergency. And they're not. They just don't feel obligated to share that. And it could possibly be another option is that it's part of their mindset of acting like they're secure. They may think the less they tell you, the more secure they are, or they may feel like it would be a risk to share more information. And from what we've seen of other data breaches from other mega corporations, generally they admit what's going on, possibly a bit late, but they do usually tell you what happened. The fact that they are being so dishonest about it makes me think they're mm -hmm. themselves maybe in denial about what happened. And I think this also corresponds to the downward slope that the AWRL has been on for the last couple of years. They're not getting many new members, they're not getting new signups, and sooner or later they're going to go out of business. And this right here may have just been the point of no return. I so think we'll I think it could be, because what, what the reason it's taking so long, I believe it comes down to uh, who you hire to fix it and how poorly it was set up to begin with. Those are the two factors. Which, knowing the AWRL, it probably was not set up. It's probably very outdated. Their servers were probably from the early 2000s, and the protocols and services in use were probably not set up properly or outdated as well. And so there... That's just the reality of what, what we perceive from the way they operate. Yep. They're, everything they do seems to be backwards and antiquated and old-fashioned. And unfortunately, this kind of thing happens a lot to companies that don't keep up with uh, the protections that you need to have and the newer type services and things like that. So I, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'd like to I'd like to say that we know what's going on tonight, but we don't. They're keeping us in the dark. They're not telling us a thing. And so that's really all we have to report right now uh, is that we are on day 14 and they still will not come clean with what's going on. And they will not tell us when there's an anticipated uh, time when it's going to come back up. That's all we know. That's all we know. All right, guys, we'll keep you updated. When it does come back up, we will update you on that as well. My name's Ian. I'm here with Joseph, and this is Starship Adventures. We'll see you next time on our next adventure.